Are you looking to create your own online OTT platform just like Netflix and Amazon Prime? Then Streamit is the perfect solution for you. Whether you are starting in the world of digital entertainment or have years of experience. Hi everyone, I am Dia Patel from Iconic Design. In this video, we will see how you can customize your Streamit theme using the Streamit options. So let's hop into the tutorial. Firstly, I will go to the WordPress dashboard and then I will click on the Streamit options. So first option that you will see is the dashboard. So here you can view the live data by clicking on this button and you can also import your demo data. From here you can go to our documentation and if you need any help then you can just submit a ticket. So the next option is body layout and the first option that you will see is the grid container width where you can change the width of the grid. Uh, the second option is body background. You can change it to whatever color you want or you can also add an image. Then you have the display back to top button. If you want to display it, then just click on yes. And then the last option is favicon. Here you can change your logo if you want to and then just click on save changes. The next option that you have is the logo. So you can select the type of logo you want as logo as text or logo as image. So I will select the logo as text and then I will add the text. And if you want to upload an image, then you can just select on the image then you can also change the logo for the mobile and also change the width of the mobile logo then you will just click on save changes then the next option that we have is the loader so if you want the loader then you will just click on yes if you don't want then click on no then you can also change the loader background color and you can also change the image of the loader and then you can also change the width and height of the loader and then just click on save changes then we will go to the color attribute so here you can set the primary color to whatever you want to you can also set the hover primary color you can also set the secondary color then you can also set the title color you can also change the body text color and also the link gradient color option from here after changing everything you can just click on the save changes then next option we have is a typography so here we'll find the body font and here you can select the font family whichever suits you then you can also change the heading of the font all the h1 to h6 heading and then just click on save the changes then we will go to the header option so the first option that we have is the header layout so if you want the default layout then just select that then we have the header container so if you want it a full width or a container then we have the header position you can change it to default or anything you want then we also have the background you can also select the default or you can also browse your image or if you want to keep it transparent you can select this you can also change the menu color if you want to and also the sub menu color options now we will select custom and here i will select our custom header layout and also the custom layout position then i will select the position to default and then i will just click on save changes then if you go to the header top then you will get a note that it only works with the default header layout then we will go to the sticky header so this will also work only with the default layout next is the footer option so first we have the footer layout so here also we have the option to default or custom so i will just select default then we also can change the background image if you want to change then just click on yes we also can change the footer color now i will select custom and you can choose whatever style you want from this drop down and then i will go to the footer options so here you have the display footer top if you want to display then just click on yes then we have the footer layout options so we have different types of footer layout you can also set the alignment and then click on save changes then we have the footer copyright option so if you want to add your copyright then you can just select yes you can add the alignment and also you can add your description and then just click on save changes the next setting is the banner setting so the first option we have is the default banner image if you want to change you can change it from here then you can also select the banner style to whatever you want if you want to display banner on the inner pages then just enable it then you can also display the breadcrumb if you don't want then just select no so the next we have is a display title on the banner if you want to display then just select yes and then select the title heading you can also change the banner background you can change it to color or the image and then click on save changes the next option that we have is the blog if you want to set banner image then you can upload it from here you can also get uh, five different page setting styles so select any one if you want 
Then we also have the post setting. You can also enable the feature image on blog archive page and then just save your changes. Then we will go to the blog single post. So the first is the page setting. You can choose any one. Then you also can turn on or off the comments. And then you can also select the post to hide feature on the image. And then after saving the changes, just click on save changes. Then we will go to the 404 options. So here you can select the page layout to default, which we have already uploaded. If you want to upload any of your 404 error page, then you can upload it from here. You can also give the title. You can also add a description and also you can add a button to go to the home. If you want a custom layout, then just click on custom and then select the error page from the drop down. Also, you can change the header and the footer and then click on save changes. The next option is a trailer link. So here, if you want to display the trailer link detail page, then just on it. Then you can also select the style to default and we have the option to select the post type. You can also change the button icon and also you can add a text and then click on save changes. Likewise, you can explore all these options according to your needs. Next is the social media options where you can add your link of your social accounts such as Facebook, GitHub and then just click on save changes. The next option is the user account and in that we have the user account setting. So this will only work with the default header layout. So as you remember, we have set a custom header layout. So this option will not work now. Now we will go to the site icon settings. So if you want to show the follow icon, then just click on on. Then you can also show the link icon. You can also show the watch list. So here you can also add the watch list button title. Then you can select the page for watch list and you can also add the icon and then click on save changes. The next option is the view all settings. So if you have the terms and condition page of your own, then just select it from the drop down. Then you can also view all the button title. You can also select page for view all from this drop down. If you want to turn on the display the post, then just select the option from here which suit you. Then you can also change the post per page and also you can order by in descending or ascending and then just click on save the changes. Now we will go to the layout. So here we have the layout mode that is LTR and RTL. So you can choose whatever you want. If you want to show the style switcher, then just click on on and then save the changes. So now we'll go to the maintenance and if you want to on or off the maintenance or coming soon mode, then just click on on and then you can also explore all the other options in that and then click on save changes. So now if you want to add a WooCommerce to your theme, then just click on WooCommerce and then the first option that we have is the shop page setting. So you can change it to listing or the grid view. Then we also have a setting for the grid view. You can also change the product per page from here. You can also change the product load type. We have the pagination, we have the infinite scroll and you can also change the payment gateway title from here. After that, click on save changes. Then we will go to the product page. And if you want that a related product should be displayed, then just click on yes. Now we'll go to the product setting. So if you want to display the name, then just click on yes over here. If you don't want, then click on no. Then you can also display the price enable it if you want a rating to be displayed then just enable it from here you can also display the add to card icon then you can also add the wish list icon you can also add the quick view icon and you can also change the batch color so if you go to the header option then you will see that it is same as the above and if you want to change it then change it from here or leave it as it is and also if you want to change the footer then you can change it from here and then just click on save changes now we will go to the additional code option so here if you want to change the css then you can paste your custom css here and you can also change the javascript code over here and then just click on save changes so now we will click on the import export so if you want to make any changes then you can change from here if you want to change dashboard theme from dark to light then you can just click here and then click on save changes after saving all the changes, now we will see the preview of our Strimit theme. And here you can see the preview. And if you have made any changes, then you will be able to see here. And this is how you can customize your Strimit theme using the Strimit options. And in the next video, we will see how we can use the PMS plugin. So stay connected with us.